Welcome to the Six Fix Podcast. I'm Digi Murphy. Welcome. I'm here with two of the most talented players of the Toronto Six, two of our rookies, Lindsay Eastwood and Amy Curlew. Ladies, welcome to the show. How are you guys doing tonight? Oh, we're doing well. Thanks, Digit. Just finished a long day at work. We're just sitting back here now. You know, that's good. That's good to hear. That's a great segue into what I want to talk about. You guys are... X by day, hockey players at night. Tell me what the X is. What do you do during the day? Uh, so I'm a strategic intern for Critical Mass, which is a digital media agency. Um, and we look overlook uh, different accounts, uh, work for different clients, and kind of do their media side of things. So a lot of what I've been doing is working on like websites and asks in that way. They give us something to research, and then I'll go ahead and research something on the internet like Google or primary or secondary research is kind of my thing right now. So, sounds fancy. Sounds very fancy. Are you fancy? No. No. Nope, <laughs> Easty, what do you do? What do you do, Easty? The same as uh, Amy. I work for Critical Mass um, and I do uh, project management stuff on the delivery side. So I help uh, keep everyone organized, scheduling, um, haven't gotten to budgeting or anything like that, but maybe down the line and uh, running meetings. And I helped out. I helped out one of the clients. Uh, I helped them do their digital events and helped them, uh, taught them how to use Zoom and all that good stuff. So you kind of, to me, seem like you're doing a whole bunch of stuff. And Amy, you're like in this focused role. True or false? True. True. I think when we get an account or start an account, it starts with uh, strategy as does everything. And then it narrows down into like a creative portion or a project delivery and they assign everybody to do something, but it starts. Oh, got it. You're more big picture. Yeah. Kind of. Interesting. Because you know, on the ice, do you think you're big picture? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm kind of just dumping, dumping chase. No, you are not. No, you are not. Okay. We're going to stop that right now because Amy Curlew is one of the most talented forwards we have. And, you know, as a rookie, she's constantly beating herself up, but she's freaking awesome. And Eastwood, amazing defender. You guys are great. I love coaching you. Um, how, how much fun is it? And at the same time, how difficult is it to practice now during COVID? It's a lot of fun. Honestly, uh, it's the first time I, I haven't had fun at hockey practice in a while. I used to hate going to practice. I, I'm not a practice player. I like, I like playing games. So honestly, after a long day at work, I'm, I might be a little tired, but it's it's something that I definitely look forward to at the end of the day and, and have fun when I get there. So uh, my mindset for practice has really changed. And it's right now it's only twice a week. So I mean, you only have a few, a few couple of days to see the girls and uh, be at the rink. So it's, uh, it is exciting. How about you, Curly? You having fun? You having fun yet? Oh yeah, I'm having fun. I actually get the chance to talk during the day because I feel like I'm talking to myself all day working <laughs> from home. So whether or not the girls actually think they like to hear my voice, it kind of helps me get it all out. That are funny. You know, and you guys live together. What's up with that? Fun? Like, did you know each other before or are you just kind of connected because of the six? Uh, people who know people. I played against her for about four years and then also in juniors as well. Okay. Yeah, Amy, but, but, uh, Amy messaged me and she was, hey, uh, do you want to live together? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a roommate too. So it worked out. Love it. Uh, and is it is it true you may have a, a secret quarantine member in your house as well or or not? Yeah, we, uh, we do. She's uh, quarantining upstairs right now. Yeah, and uh, you, you can say who it is because she's been announced. So th go ahead and uh, let it out. Yeah, Emily Fluke. She joined us uh, last night after practice. She, uh, she pulled up. So Nice. Quarantine, she'll be with us soon. 
Yeah. So she came up from the U.S. That's an interesting story in and of itself, right? I mean, she's coming up. She's quarantined for 14 days, uh, not having a Christmas, right? She's with you guys, and uh, she's just gonna play. She's gonna. She's a trooper, right? You, you know, she fits right in with your culture, though. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I think we've said like 10 words to each other so far because she pulled up around midnight and we all three of us were working all day, but I'm sure we'll get to know her stuck in this house. <laughs> Hello. No, but I love that, you know, the, the camaraderie and um, just relationships that hockey brings, right? Like you guys, you kind of saw each other, you played against each other in junior, now you're living together, you know, and the, the sisterhood now has fluke as part of, you know, your relationship. So talk a little bit about what hockey means to you guys from that perspective. Uh, so hockey, I think, has brought all my best relationships into my life, whether that be like friends or coaches or trainers. I think every single personal, like favorite relationship has come and came to me through hockey. I would not have met any of my best friends or uh, any of my mentors, I guess, or anybody who kind of I look up to and honestly look, looks after me as well, like keeps checking in on me. I think everybody is from hockey yeah. in my life yeah. at this point right now, um, which is unreal. It's insane, now. right? It's insane. I kind of sometimes feel the same way. The, 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 no, no matter how much you take care of the game, the game takes care of you, and uh, it's kind of cool. And it's really cool that women now have the opportunity. You know that I'm just going to get right to the gender bender part of it. But, you know, like when I was growing up, I had to fight for, you know, all of the respect that I had because I had to play with boys, right? But now you guys get to play with women, and you get to shine, you know, in your own space, and now – we're going to the bubble. I mean, there's some really cool stuff happening for you. So talk a little bit about how, how the game has progressed and, and how, how fun it, the NWHL is playing and what you think about that. Well, even just touching on like how hockey brings your best friends. Like I played boys hockey for a couple of years and yeah, I got some buddies out of it, but you know, when I got switched to girls hockey, that's when I made all my best friends and stuff. So it is a, uh, it is a big, big deal. And, and it's, it's awesome. You know, like I still talk to a bunch of girls from growing up playing hockey and now my university friends, those are my best friends forever uh, on my team there. So, but uh, it's, it's awesome to see how far the, the leagues come and the fact that we're getting to play some hockey this year is unreal. You know, I was a little skeptical at times as well. It's a crazy year, but it's, uh, it's happening. And I, I can't wait. It's, it's really cool to see and be a part of. So, uh, I want to just go back to uh, one thing about where you guys are from. So you're originally from Ottawa, uh, Lindsay, and Amy, you're from uh, Labrador. Yeah. Right. Happy right. Valley Goose Bay. From, say that again. Happy Valley Goose Bay. Happy Valley Goose Bay. That's an insane. I, it's got to be. You cannot say you're from Toronto. You have to say you're from there in the in the playbook, in the uh, whatever it is, the media guide. Happy Valley Goose. You cannot, you cannot lose that title. Oh, it's such a great town. And what about yours? And now that I like ruined it, what about you, Eastwood? I'm from Ottawa. I'm more specifically Canada. Um, okay. There and my family actually just moved out to the Ottawa Valley. So I'm, I'm a Valley girl now. Uh, Val mm, Valley girl. Yeah. So, so now uh, you guys, you're D Eastwood, you know, and Amy, you're forward. So are you guys think you're going to like, so, you know, did you ask the coach, you think you'll be playing together, you know, maybe on a power play or something like that? You know, do you think you're ever going to play together? I've never really thought about playing with the defense. I've only ever thought about the <laughs> two other forwards with me. But you must have a certain rhythm, right? You know, when you do the plays off the, ha off the half wall, you know, do you feel a little roommate, you know, synergy, a little flow? Sure, yeah. yeah. Some chemistry there for sure. Yeah. Uh, you guys are insane. So uh, so let's go to the bubble now. Let's talk about the bubble. All right. What does the bubble mean to you guys, like playing in a season during COVID? It's honestly just the opportunity to play hockey. I mean, I think after last year with everything like ending abruptly and I didn't really think about playing hockey again and then it all ended and I was like, oh, I can't stop. I don't want to stop. And this, this opportunity kind of like – came to me and I was I thought I would have been stupid to turn it down because I didn't have really any other options 
in my mind at that time. Um, so it came to me and I didn't think any of this would happen. We like, we're so fortunate to be able to practice um, and see people on, during the week, like, however many there is eight people or whatnot. <laughs> eight people on the ice uh, i know but like still most people don't have that opportunity and then to be going to a bubble and play games is like all i wanted to do and i remember i think it was when we first got out for their like first practice um it, it just felt good and it, it was uh a good way to get a lot of things out and like just have fun again and um i was not ready to give that up and i'm super excited for the bubble and get some games in how about you, Easty? I think it's just a, such an incredible opportunity we have here for women's hockey. I mean, we're we're going to get to be on the big stage, and there's not a whole lot of sports going on. Who knows what's going to happen with the NHL at the time, you know? So it's uh, it's it, it's a great opportunity for us to get some exposure as, as woman, a, a women's league and players and, uh, and for the next generation to just show them that, you know, what it's all about and, and that – even in the middle of a pandemic, we're making it work. So it's, it's pretty special. Yeah, and I hear that you may be uh, doing a little video blog or vlog, you know? Talk a little bit about that, Eastwood. Well, uh, actually, Amy and I, we, we, uh, we might team up on this one. Oh, I like it. Do a little roommate uh, vlog while we're in the bubble leading up to it. When we get back from uh, Christmas, after Christmas, we'll uh, fire it up and just... Give everyone a little inside look at what's going on. Nice. Did you hear that we may be doing some fan faces? Did you hear about those? Yeah, I'll let it out now. We're doing some fan faces, those cutouts. So uh -huh. maybe maybe you get your parents to buy one and put your beer mug in the stands too. <laughs> that would be hysterical. Uh -huh. No, but we're definitely thinking that we're, we're going to do those fan faces. Uh, we want to have all the stands behind us with all Toronto six people in there. So... We got to make sure we have our fans. That'd yeah. be sweet. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So uh, talk a little bit about your, your teammates, uh, Curlew. How do you like your line? Talk about your line right now. Your line, maybe. Oh, I love my line. We're the, like the young kids line. Um, maybe we m screw up from time who to time. Who is it? Oh, wait, who is it? Say who it is. No one knows who the young kids line is. Sarah F. Kotu Gobu, who just graduated from QPAC. And then Bucky who just graduated from Merrimack. Michaela Grant Mentis. Yes, we don't yes. know what her Sorry. real name is either. <laughs> we don't know what her real name is. Like, no one knows what my name is. They just call me Digit. No one really knows. It's like same as Bucky. Yeah, so so you like that line, huh? Oh, I love it. I mean, okay, like, okay. we do things good, and we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going well. But then we mess up, and we're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> brush it off. Hey, you know what? It's all about having fun, right? No problem. We fix it. We fix it. But you got Eastwood in the back to, you know, depend on. I mean, you know, how about... I how got about... caught on defense, though, in practice, and my gap is not yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, you you know how you, forwards, you know, Eastwood, like forwards and gap. Mm, they need to play. I always call it the sideways D, the angling through the neutral zone. Forget it. You don't want them skating backwards. Except the, somebody yeah. coming yeah. at you. Yeah. So we would talk about, uh, you know, your position and some of the senior or the veterans that you're playing with. How do you like that? I think uh, right now I'm the only only rookie defense. So um, oh, I think you are. Yeah. The young buck on the, the back end, the spring chicken back there. <laughs> yeah. And you got barbs back there with you, you know, and uh, T Woods. She's got, she can hammer it. Oh yeah, there's uh, we got a solid decor, and I, I always say defense always like love each other. It doesn't matter every team I play yeah. on. There's never any issues with the defense. Ever like just yeah, good right. vibes, and that's exactly what I'm feeling. It, here. it chill. Like the forwards are always the one creating like the drama, and they're all like ah, they're all fiery and everything. And D's like chill, man, chill. We got this. We got this. I love it. So uh, so far, last question, and then I'll let you guys go have some dinner. Um, what's your favorite part of the season so far? Like, what, what do you, what do you like? Honestly, I think just the fact that we're going to get to play some actual hockey. It's, uh, that's, it hasn't happened yet, but just leaving the hype around it and just getting ready for it gives me something to look forward to and uh, gets me pumped up. How about you, Curly? Exactly I was going to say like, um, it's something to look forward to right now because we haven't really had that in a long time um and even like something to look forward to on a long tuesday at sitting at your desk at home you got to practice <laughs> Thursday, so 
um, it brings some normalcy like into life. Um, and it's, it's nice to have that. I think, I think for me, my favorite part is, uh, the team that we got to experience and that I got to have a part in building because I really feel there's a connected energy with all of us. Um, and just how much fun we have. And I'm telling you, and I tell you guys this all the time, whether we win or lose, we're still going to have fun on the journey. And it's just, that's what really sports is about. And I'm hoping that we can espouse that, that value to the, to the community because that's what we're about. T6, T6, baby, we're fun, fast, and furious. We're coming at you. We're coming at you hard. That's what I keep telling these guys. We're coming at you hard. All right. Well, uh, how do we get to, to see you guys on Instagram? You guys want to share your handles with us or do you even do Instagram? I know you do Eastwood. What about you, Curlew? I, I do the social media. Um, <laughs> you do, the social, do the social media. media. I do the social media. I don't know my handles and everything, but if you search up Amy Curlew, you might get lucky. From Happy Happy Valley. Yeah, Happy Valley. I don't have that on any of my social media, but maybe I should mix it in. Yeah, maybe you would because then people would know which Amy Curlew it is because I'm sure there's millions of them, right? Not. No, I'm kidding. I think I'm pretty unique. How about you, East? You see what he got? Oh, you can find me on, on the gram, on Twitter, on the gram, <laughs> Lindsay East, two T's on uh, Twitter, Lindsay Eastwood, and uh, TikTok. To, oh, TikTok. Oh, we got we to gotta look at that. I, I haven't done the TikTok yet, so maybe we'll have to do one. It's fun. All right, guys. Well, I'm Digi Murphy for Amy Curlew and Lindsay Eastwood. This is a Six Fix podcast. See you next time. Bye-bye.